All right, fellas, here we are back in Pokemon Masters. And so, of course, here on the screen, we've got ourselves my flying roster. Yes. As I've said, I have maxed this thing out. Well, max, clearly not, right? But we've gotten every single flying character in the game, other than, like, I guess, um, Challenger Gloria, but that, like, has, she's a third flying, okay? Well, I'll get her, but... I'm talking every base flying character in the game. I've got them. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be clearing Champion Stadium with only flying type sync bears. So, <laughs> all the way from Glacia to Wallace, flying types only. I've already done all the battles. Some were a pain in my ass. Most were a pain in my ass. And so a few were not. <laughs> so, um... I guess let's just go ahead and hop into the battles. Sure, I mean, whatever. Again, all, all mono-type, flying, uh, mono-flying type, whatever you want to call it, Champion Stadium. 15,000 points, of course. Let's go, I guess. All right, so the first battle here was a mistake uh, because it made the rest of the challenge a little, quite a bit harder. Anyway, whatever. It's Cygnus Suit, Ethan, Blue, and Proton versus Drake for an off-type battle. Obviously, the big one here is to get three uses of Blue's Trainer Move for max special attack crit, um, and a little bit of Brutal Clarity activation with, like, plus, yeah, plus three accuracy, and some evasion, and all, all that good stuff, right? That's what we wanted with Blue. We wanted to get those offensive stats mostly maxed out, and go for his Sync Nuke, and then we obviously abuse Proton's ability to flinch. Very, very fun. <laughs> uh, okay, so pretty much didn't matter here at this point because once you get in one sync with blue and you know you can get in another one it kind of just doesn't matter ethan does enough damage blue's nuke does enough damage you're good right blue's great expansion was good for helping out his damage a lot like it gave him an actually viable sync nuke you know other than working with just sync nodes that was nice to have and then of course the big gimmick with ethan is that he can do good damage but he has to use his turn and move every other turn in order to do it Tried building around Ethan with other setups, but he it really just boiled down to needing another, like, main damage-dealing character to actually, like, function well. Which sucks, but oh well. <laughs> it's fine, I guess. It's, it, it, it could be worse, frankly. Whatever. Anyway, so here we go, getting all of our special moves next with Ethan. Uh, wanted to wait and see if I get a flinch with Proton, which I did, so I went ahead and went for the Arrow Blast. Which does kind of just completely screw over our... Sync power flux with blue, but that also just doesn't really end up mattering either, just because we're already at the point of the end of the battle where Ethan's going to be doing a ton of damage with single target arrow blasts. It's fine. Which, I mean, they're not multi target anyway because they're extended range, but whatever. We need another Lugia in this. <laughs> we need another Lugia unit. Um, Ethan's good and all, but I would much prefer us just get another one. That, that would be cool. So, here we go, finish off with Ethan at Lugia Arrow Blast, 6,000 damage, goodbye. And there we go, that Drake, that's Drake done. First triple flying team, and this was pretty bad because these are my best flying special, uh, special attackers, and the next battle, is it the next battle? I think it's the next battle, is uh, Flying Wheat Glacia, which is a pain. Big, or sorry, steel, not Flying Wheat, Flying Abused, I guess, Steel Wheat Glacia, which is Sentry Entry, not not a good decision on my end. Alright, so the first battle, second battle? Yes, yeah, second battle. <laughs> Still with Glacier, whatever, as I said. So, Anniversary Skyla, uh, Damage Challenge, that's the word, Silver, and then uh, New Year's Holiday Resident. I'm just screwing up this entire segment. I should really just <laughs> wipe this one, but you know what, screw it. Anyway, so I had to pivot one of my Ace in the Holes, which is Anniversary Skyline and Champion Sharon, to this stage, which I expected more to have to do on Phoebe and Wallace, but I had to, which I did, for, I still did one of them with, uh, with Phoebe, but with Wallace I ended up having a very stupid strategy that worked out well enough. Not stupid strategy, but really brain dead. <laughs> anyway, so... This strat this this uh, fight is not hard at all. Pretty much, just get a little bit lucky on the flinches, and then just spam, pretty much spam debuffs with silver, and that's literally it. <laughs> but the problem that I was facing was Skyla would just not crit her sync move on the middle. Like she would crit everyone else, or do fine on every other aspect, but would just not crit. And that is, you need those th those crits tend to be pretty vital. That Rosa living is not really, but. <laughs> Crits, yeah, kinda, yeah, you tend to want those things, those things tend to be good to have. 
um, or yeah, and fl crits, flinches, all of that stuff. That those are the things you tend to want to go for. And it, but I also brought Rosa because she got random buffs, and the random special attack buffs would be good for obviously this. But I clearly didn't get that lucky because Skyla self sufficiency, yippee, woo, whatever, doesn't matter that much. Plus two special attack, Skyla is still able to easily wipe out enemies with her extremely strong sling nuke, so it's fine. No real problem there. Um, and then, again, had to use Champion Sharon for Phoebe, and then, oh boy, Wallace was just stupid. <laughs> I actually think out of all these fights, the one that I enjoyed the most is probably Flying Week Sydney. Out of all the fights, Flying Week Sydney was just the best. Sorry, let me rephrase. Flying Week Sydney was not the great, uh, the, not the best. Ghost Week Phoebe was. Because we just abuse fly and bounce the whole time. Champion Sharon's so strong, you don't even have to really worry about proper sync countdown management. You just kind of spam a few attacks here and there, and then just dodge with fly, which they used Earthquake, so fuck us, I guess, but that didn't really matter. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> and also, I don't have, I don't think I had any damage enabled for fly anyway. <laughs> I think I had physical damage reduction, and then Lance, of course, just gets popped out there by a Shadow Ball, because a striker is not meant to have defensive stats, and so Nate is relegated to the tank position. This is why I brought both Nate and Lance, because they both, <laughs> they both have this uh, ability to use fly slash bounce so that's what that's why we got him <laughs> nate goes down to the same psychic there which is fine because B, uh, phoebe's gonna use a trainer move here so Charon's safe entirely we also do have endurance on his trainer move because of the durable so it didn't even matter there either <laughs> and now it's just up to leaning a quad q because we got i think we have guaranteed crits i'm pretty sure Charon does um it's really a guaranteed crit on the same move here does a ton of damage you know and then quad q up the black uh, what, yeah, Black Gale, Bleak Wind, Bleak Wind Storm with plus 8 special moves next boosted, yeah. <laughs> plus 9 physical moves next, plus 8 special moves next. Charon tends to hit pretty hard, right? I mean, <laughs> he's really similar to, like, Arc Suit Cynthia in the sense that he gets the special and physical moves next after using his sync move, and so that next attack right after the sync is really strong, right? And then you get your next sync and you kind of just repeat it over and over. It's, <laughs> I love Champion Charon for sure. I definitely got to do a showcase over him at 3 out of 5, but... I don't know. Let me know if you want to see that, I guess. Alright, and the battle for Flying Week Sydney was kind of similar to how Champion Sharon worked against Phoebe, but this is for one on type, and for two, it's using flinch instead of fly. So we're basically just flinch locking them while Lisa does the damage with her sink nuke and utilizing fly. So, I mean, I, I knew I would be saving Palatine's Lisa for this stage. Like, she was pretty much locked in the whole time. I just did not know who I would partner with her. I wanted to save as many supports as I could for Wallace once I knew I was going to have to use Skyla and Sharon on Phoebe and Glacia because I knew at that point I would have to be very versatile with what setups I could actually win with just because Wallace hits hard and has a lot of health and really just sucks. So I went ahead and instead of using a support here, I just opted to use two techs that could spam flinch moves. Not the proudest strategy, but it's one that is clearly effective. Good sink damage if we were to crit, but without the crit anyway, we still managed to win, so not that big of a deal, uh, mostly. <laughs> we did actually quad you that flinch there on uh, the Serena, but it doesn't end up, matter, end up mattering because they went for the X attack all, but that's fine. Whatever. And now it's just a matter of spamming fly until we get to our next sync move. That's the fun part of the horse. <laughs> Probably should have... <coughs> oh god. Probably should have just got for a metronome instead of fly, but that's fine. It's not a big of a deal. It's whatever. That's just how that goes. Uh, and then again, yeah, it's just, it's literally just spamming air slide here towards the end. There we go. I think we, I think uh, the Elisa sink kills. I, I don't quite remember. I'm pretty sure. Nope. It doesn't crit again. <laughs> the fly kills. That's what kills, right? Yeah, the fly kills because, of course, I mean, <laughs> get stupid unlucky. <laughs> oh. I love, I love sync crits, man. Soften up one is the best passive in the game simply because it patches what should have already been a thing. I don't... 10,000 damage. Yay! I do not give a shit that... I, I, I don't care about this little crit um, fiasco that they like to do on sync moves. They should have been guaranteed like regular moves. I... I that it is stupid. They soften up is pretty much a requirement to have any semblance of good luck in sync crits. And by making them guaranteed, <laughs> obviously. So whatever. Anyway, let's finish this off with Wallace and uh, have some. And I guess finish up the fun. 
first. What better way to finish things off than with the character who started it all for me? Anniversary Steven, yes, again. I've said it way too much at this point, but Anniversary Steven was the character that started me in this game. And so, we are finishing the fun the end of this challenge. Again, favorite typing here, because he is of it. I, I, could, I couldn't go this entire challenge and not use Anniversary Steven. Which, granted, if Watch Skylar was going to be better than him in this scenario, I probably would have used her anyway, but I will ignore that. It's fine. But, Sky uh, but Steven was a little bit better for this. Anyway... So, <laughs> we use Anniversary Steven alongside double supports. This is, again, why I saved my supports. This just became Potion Spam. Defense buffs, Potion Spam, live a sync, because there's no way we're getting pre-sync in on this. Uh, and I was just not even going to try with that. Steven's damage output is not, like, super fantastic, so we kind of had to have a slow build-up. But it's fine, because we've got enough defensive tools to be able to survive for long enough, whether that be via Faulkner's debuffs, the defensive buffs from Faulkner and Skyla, and the potions from the both of those, or whatever else. It may be so that Steven's damage can get to a point where it's, uh, you know, uh, better. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the right word. Better. <laughs> Whatever. I also fail some quad cues because, of course, I do. I'm, you know, great at this game. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. We get, a, we, get, we get a nice little sync crit there. This is where all our sync crits went. They went to this freaking Steven battle. <laughs> of course they did. Whatever. They end up using their sync movement because we're not poisoned. It doesn't really do anything. The only thing that Wallace does, you have to really worry about is the fact that he's got a high offensive stat, 1,400 attack, 25,000 health, boosted health, of course, right? And then if you get poisoned, he does a hell of a lot of damage. And I guess he does have some good damage base power moves, but clearly it didn't really end up mattering too much here. And our luck with putting enemies to sleep is so bad. Oh my god. Falconer, you're bald. <laughs> Whatever. Is fine, no big deal. We just sink nuke with Rick Wazley, and you don't really have to worry too much about the sides. And yeah, we're at the point where we pretty much win, right? Like, we can still make abusive potions if we really want to, just keep spamming them as much as we really need, but it doesn't even matter at, the point, at, at this point. Steven will finish off everything else with Dragon Ascents. They're all in one tap range. And we're done. <laughs> Finally. Oh, this challenge. It. It was annoying. I wanted to get some footage for it earlier, but I could tell. I probably, if I would have tried to get this earlier during work, I would have gotten way too too annoyed. <laughs> way too annoyed, but whatever. It's. I, I'm glad I got it now, so we're done. Goodbye. Yes. Awesome. Okay. There we go. Champion down. Full flying types. 15 different flying types used to clear the champion stadium. Very nice. Didn't get to use, um, like, Lodge Skyla. Definitely did not use Lysander. Absolute trash. BP Falconer, Duroc. Duroc wouldn't have been bad, but supports were pretty lacking. Uh, speaking of, didn't get to use regular Falconer, who also isn't a bad support, but I just wanted to save him for the end just in case, but clearly didn't need a mirror. And a few other ones we didn't use, but hey, it's fine. <laughs> didn't get to use Summer Liza because mine's only one out of five, so pretty much all my other options were better. But yeah, there it is. All flying types used for Champion Stadium. Very fun time. <laughs> just a little gimmick video. Nothing really showcase worthy or anything like that. I just wanted to do it for fun. So, yeah. Let me know what your favorite type is down in the comments below. Let me know how many of the uh, typed sync pairs you have. If you are aiming to get all of those sync pairs, right? Like, I'm going for flying because it's my favorite type. Let me know if you're going for all of your favorite typed characters. Um, and, yeah. I'll see you later. I hope you all enjoyed.